Hey guys, I'm here to do just an empties video. I do have a, seems like crazy amount of empties, but it's really probably not that much. Um, the usual suspects are in here, but <laughs> nothing too crazy. Um, I really haven't bought makeup, honestly, in two months. And it's a crazy feeling, um, especially because I was going, like, I had to get something in the drugstore here or there, like, every week, it seemed like. And the only thing I even have in my haul drawer right now is some stuff that I got as samples. So it's just, like, really, really nice. And it's even crazier that I haven't gone ham at Sephora yet. So, um, <laughs> but I know eventually it'll happen. But right now, um, Christmas season is here and it's just not an option. So. so I guess I've been shopping my sash, but secretly, like, I'm not even been thinking about, like, a no-buy or anything like that. It's been surprisingly, surprisingly easy. It's not that I haven't wanted anything again, because I now work at Sephora and I see stuff every single day. But it's, it's really nice, though, too, because it's just, like, I have to come to the realization that I'm never going to be able to buy everything that I want at Sephora. It's just not going to happen. Um... But it's really nice to be an employee and have, you know, some perks to be able to try things um, and just be around and play with the stuff every day that it's just, it's really exhilarating. And anyways, this intro is like three minutes and I haven't even got to the empties. So um, I went through another shampoo and conditioner. Um, these, I have one more set of these in the shower, but then... I'm done with them and I don't think I'm ever going to purchase them again in my entire life because I'm just so sick of them. Um, and this is the Gem Frida Full Repair line. Not that it's not a good product, but I don't really see any difference in like I've been using this for probably a year and I'm literally so sick of it. Um, <laughs> so I'm done with those. I went through another one of my Garnier uh, Moisture Rescue Refreshing Gel Lotion, or this is a refreshing lotion. This is the daytime moisturizer for me. And I do have another one that I opened and I have two backups. So, but I do, it's really tough working at Sephora because I've noticed that my favorite moisturizers might not be my favorite moisturizers anymore. So, um, I went through the Bumble and Bumble, um, thickening hairspray. And I think I got this as a hundred point perk from Sephora and it's really nice. Um, there's some left, but it's really hard to spray right now. But what I used most of this for, because I don't use hairspray a lot, was my Halloween costume for Sephora. Um, because I had really teased hair, so I went through a whole lot of this for that. Um, don't know if I'd buy it, especially at the price tag. Um, then I have the Summer's Eve Morning Paradise Cleansing Wash. And people rave about these things, but I think they don't really... Not that I have, like, uber issues but I just don't think it really does anything and since not it's like for sensitive skin obviously but um it just I, it's not not worth it to me um then the boots expert sensitive gentle refreshing toner and I do have some of this left but I just wanted to throw it in there because I think I'm going to be refilling my bottle and it'll be done um but this is nice. It's very gentle. It's, I like the fragrance. It's like fragrance free, but it just still smells really good. But, um, it doesn't really get makeup off. It's not something that I could use for that purpose. Um, so I don't know if I like it as a toner because I don't think it really does much as a toner product. Um, the Vaseline spraying though, I think this is probably just one I threw in here, but if I threw all the bottles that I had used in here, then I wouldn't have any room for the other stuff because I literally um, used like one of these months. So it's been like three months since I did an empties video and that's three. But I love this stuff. It is so easy. It smells so good. I love the original Vaseline Cocoa Butter scent and it's just bomb.com. Y'all. Um, then I went through the Garnier Radiance Renewer Cleansing Gel for dull skin, and this had the citrus extract hydroxy acid. And I like the feel of this, but 
Uh, again, I like some cleansers from Sephora, so... <sighs> um, I went through the All May Oil-Free Eye Makeup Remover. Um, Oil-Free... I don't remember. This still made my eyes greasy. Which, I guess I've been wearing waterproof recently. That I guess it helps with that. But it still burns like hell. Mm -mm. May repurchase, but I'll probably just end up getting this floral one. <laughs> really, I just need to stop <laughs> with the whole sport. Um, then I have my MAC brush cleaner. I, <laughs> this is like my last little bit. And I honestly have had this last little bit. I can't bring myself to empty it because I am so cheap and I don't want to go buy another one. But my brushes have either been super dirty or super clean because I don't have any of this. But this is still my spotlight favorite brush cleaner, spot cleaner, everything. Um, then getting down, I went through some samples, but... Um, I really honestly couldn't tell you what they are. And something in here is sticky. Awesome. Um, this is my MAC NC20 Studio Fit Finish Concealer. I never really loved this stuff. I mean, yeah, it did good for spot concealing, but there's so much of this left. But it's so old, and I'm just tossing it because, no. Yeah. Oh god, and I put my finger in the sticky again! Um, this is like a setting powder that I got a sample of from Sephora. Um, this, I have no idea. This may be one of my new favorite products that I am going to be buying super soon. It is the Peter Thomas Roth, the PLX, um, and it's a chemical exfoliator, so it doesn't have like any abrasive beads in it, but it exfoliates so good and my face feels like a baby when I'm done. So it's like literally, I've tried it like three times, um, like I got like three different uses out of the sample and it literally broke my heart when I was done and it breaks my heart that I haven't got any of it. Um, and then this is the, I don't know exactly what this is, this is the Bosha Black Mask and Bosha masks are so much fun because they're like this gel like goopy stuff. They're really not fun to put on because they're super messy and they get everywhere. But they're like black and when they dry you can just peel it right off and your face feels fantastic. The black one is the detoxifying. There's also a white um, which is like brightening I think and then there's a blue which is calming and I think there might be a green for acne. But I do like the Bosha line too. Um, then of course, my ass has so many mas- Ooh. I have so many mascaras because, um, I really do, like, I'm really psycho with switching out my mascaras, and if I don't like a mascara, I'll use it for, like, a month and then put it in here. So I probably can get more use out of it, but I'm like, uh, it's boo-boo, I'm not gonna use it, it's just gonna go bad. Um, this is the Physician Formula Organic Wear. Didn't like this. Way too dry and the brush is way too ginormous, so did not like that. Um, Wet n Wild Mega Protein. Eh, I do like that it's natural bristle brush. Well, I do like natural and I do like, I like the brush on this one though. It's like a natural bristle, but it's nice. Which the consistency of this was okay, but I found a lot of clumping, so. Would not repurchase. Um, this is the Maybelline Lash Stiletto Waterproof. And this is the voluptuous version. And I think this might be discontinued. Which makes me so sad because I do really like this. And I like the brush. Which makes me sad. But it's donezo. If you guys know whether this is discontinued or something that's a dupe for this, let me know. Um, then I have the Stila. And this is the Forever Your Curl. Which, I really like this mascara. I do want to try the full size. Um, but this is really nice for bottom lashes. I didn't like the Clinique bottom lash mascara, but I do like this bad boy. Um, then the Lancome. This is the Sills Booster or whatever. Um, didn't like this. Didn't like this mascara primer. One bit. No, I did not. And then this is the Prestige My Blackest Lashes. And this is just okay. This is kind of a run-of-the-mill 
Like it reminds me of like Bad Gal Lash um, or like, it's not like um, Color Girl Lash Last because that's a silicone wand, but like, you know those, like what's the one that's like in the gray tube? It's like the L'Oreal Voluminous, like the original. That kind of what this reminds me of and it's just, eh, I don't love it. Um, I put through two lip products. Woohoo! Um, first one is the Tarte, or Tarte, Too Faced Glamour Gloss. Don't think they sell this anymore because we don't have it at our store. And it makes me super, uber, duper sad because this is a really nice plumping lip gloss. Um, then I went through, and this is for Annabelle's makeup here on YouTube. Anya, miss you, girlfriend. Um, this she sent to me in one of our swaps. And I used it all. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? Like I started using this and then I would use it like all the time, nonstop. And I went ham on it. So finish that. And that is from Annabelle. And it's their volume lip, lip plumping gloss. Um, then I have this in here. It's not empty, but I threw it in here because of the pain in my ass. And I was sick of it. Um, and this is the Tarte Maracuja oil. And the cap is broken, and it leaks all over the place, and it smells horrendous. And I just, I couldn't. So, and then, Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Got through one of these bad boys. I already have a backup, and, but I'm using the Urban Decay anti-aging one. So, wow, this video is so super long, and I, I'm so sorry. But, I will see you guys in my next video.